Okay, so first you're going to want to format the first column of your worksheet. And so go to Format Cells in Custom, and you're going to put your date formatting here. So we start with day, and then month, and then year, because that's what Hootsuite wants us to do. And then we put in the time. So that goes hour, hour, minute, minute. And we save that. And then you can start entering in your date as you usually would, with the month first, then the day, and then the year, and then you want to put the time. And so make sure that you're putting the time in um, military time. So as you can see with our second update, we're going to put 1 p.m. And then I usually like to do one later on in the evening as well, so we'll do one at 4. And then you're going to continue filling them all in. And once you've done that, uh, your URLs will go into column C, and then the update will go into column B. Um, and so you can format your, your whole spreadsheet uh, with your updates and include the URLs. And Hootsuite will automatically shorten them for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and so once you've done all your posts, and you can have up to 50 posts within a spreadsheet to upload at once. We'll save it as a .csv file. But then you're going to want to change the coding for it to from the Mac. So here's how you would do that. So you would go down to text edit and you're going to open up your file again there and pick it out, open it, and then you're going to save it as a CSV, but you're going to change the coding. So you have to put in the .csv after the title, and then you're going to go down to where it says Western, and you are going to change this so it says Unicode UTF-8 and save. So use .csv. Now it's now compatible with a Mac. Go up to Scheduler and Bulk Message Upload, and then you're going to browse for your file, choose it, open it, and make sure you choose the proper account that you want to send the updates from. That's, of course, the one I want to do, so I'm going to submit it. And then it'll schedule all 41 of your messages at the same time. And from here, I can go over to the Publisher button, and I can take a peek at all the scheduled updates, and they'll all be listed for me. And as I scroll down, I can see that they are listed all the way up to April 30th. That's all there is to it.